Hi everyone, <coughs> I am Dr. D. Munuswami, working as a student professor in economics, Bihar Government Degree College, Narayan Guda, Hyderabad. Okay, today I want to discuss about the random sampling method. Okay, okay in the previous videos, uh, we discussed that different type of methods for the collection of the data. Okay, particularly the survey, uh, the census method is one important method, and sampling method is one of the most important method. Okay, as we discussed in the earlier classes, in the earlier videos, <coughs> the uh, instead of the census method, the sampling method is more important, widely using in uh, uh, in the researches uh, by the researchers. Okay, the most of them, the researchers and investigators are accepting the sampling method. Okay, in the sampling method, okay, we have the different type of this uh, methods like uh, uh, random sampling method and uh, non-random sampling method. Okay, random and non-random sampling method, we have two type of the methods. Okay, in this particular class, uh, we will try to discuss uh, random sampling method. Okay, random sampling method. Of course, you will see the later about the non-random sampling method also. Okay, so the random sampling method. So it is a uh, one type of the method in the sampling method. What we can say. Okay, here, see, uh, as we discussed in the earlier, the survey, uh, the uh, the census method is nothing but taking the information from all the rest uh, from all the population. But the sampling is nothing but selected people out of the population. Okay, subset of the uh, what is called total population is known as the sampling method. Okay, this uh, sampling method uh, we have again two categories that is uh, random sampling method and non random sampling method. Okay, in this particular class, we will try to understand what is a random sampling method. See the rand sampling methods of the random sampling is a uh, various methods of random sampling and uh, non random sample also. Okay, so uh, uh, in the random sampling and non random, we have various categories. But uh, in this class, we will try to discuss the, the following type of the random sampling. Okay, random sampling, we are going to discuss only a uh, random sampling. Uh, we are going to discuss okay this um, the random sampling we have uh, again the different categories okay like uh, uh, these are the uh, some important random sampling methods so that is simple random sampling method stratified random sampling method uh, systematic sampling method and what is called a cluster sampling method okay simple random sampling method stratified random sampling method and systematic sampling method and the cluster sampling method so these are the the four categories are there in this random sampling method see i'm not going to detail about the non random sampling method we will discuss later about the non random sampling method okay in this class i am going to focus only random sampling method this random sampling method are divided into these four categories like simple random sampling method stratified random sampling method systematic sampling method and cluster uh, sampling uh, method okay we will discuss uh, all these four one by one like uh, the first one is called a simple random sampling method okay this is one of the method in the sampling method particularly in the random sampling method which is called a simple random sampling method okay in this simple random sampling method each unit in the population gets an equal chance of being represented in a simple sample and, uh, uh, and such a sample is called random sample and the technique of selecting a random sample is called simple random simple uh, sampling method so each and every the representation or population will get the equal chances <coughs> see here please remember all the representatives uh, representatives are not involving but here the, all the representative have, having the equal chances for the selection of the sample 
like suppose there are 1000 population but if we want to select around 300 as a sample subset of the total okay the selected people in the total so is called a sample so in this simple random method <coughs> so here there is no bias here each and everyone will have uh, what is called uh, equal chances for the selection uh, is known as the simple random uh, method what is you can say okay this is the common method of the sampling the simple random sampling is a common method uh, using particularly in the research also the sample so obtained is called a random sample <coughs> okay it is called a random sample because it is obtained by a random sample we mean we should give equal chance so already i told you random or simple is nothing but equal chances for all or equal opportunity to every unit in the population to be included in the sample okay all the participants are are having the equal chances or equal opportunities in the selection okay method okay the a random sample can be selected by two methods okay this random sample is going to be selected in two methods so one is a lottery method and the second is a random number method lottery and random number method so these are the two uh, important methods we are using in the uh, simple uh, what is called random sample method so here what is lottery method so for uh, what is lottery method so in this lottery method uh, is a uh, it is a pra uh, practicable when the population size is completely comparatively small <coughs> okay so the lottery method is uh, uh, visible can use in the research uh, when the population size is comparatively low or small, what we can say. Okay, to select a random sample by this method, through this lottery method, the first we are going to assign a serial numbers like 1, 2, 3, up to n to each uh, item. Suppose there are uh, 500 uh, population size were there. Okay, 500 population was there. So for all these 500 respondents, uh, we are giving serial number. We are giving roll number like one, two, three, and so on like that. Okay, so first we are giving the serial number, and after giving the serial number, so write these numbers on the piece of the paper of the equal size and of the same quality. So because when we are the, uh, selecting this uh, uh, that piece of the paper. Uh, you, you, you should not be any bias. So that's why uh, there should be neutrality. So that's why uh, all these papers, a uh, uh, piece of the paper should be e to equal size and the same quality. Okay, if uh, some papers are with the larger one and some pieces are the smaller one, we can identify who are there. So that's why, uh, that, that means we, we may have some bias in the selection of that uh, uh, particular paper from the total that one. So that's why it should be equal size and with the same quality, same color, so etc. Everything should be just like a homogeneous. Okay, there should not be any uh, differentiation, may not be in case of the quality or color, whatever it may be. Okay, size and all. Okay, after this, uh, the role of the papers called lots. Okay, they were called lots and supple them. Uh, thoroughly so once we giving this lots that means whatever the number we are giving to the papers which are called lots and they have to shuffle they have to mix properly okay so we have to shuffle thoroughly and take one lot uh, at a random so one by one uh, we have to take for example out of uh, this 500 uh, suppose we want to 100 sample size so from this uh, uh, total 100 uh, uh, lots, we have to take uh, uh, out of this 500 lots, we have to take 100 uh, lots, which is called a lottery. So we have to take it. So note the number on it. So what number it was given. 
so, so particular suppose in the first uh, we got to 10th number so the 10th number person we have to select it for the as a sample like that okay um, now the select the item corresponding to this number into the sample so that number we have to take and consider as a uh, what is called sample and repeat the process till we get the required number of items into the sample okay already i told you if there are 500 population out of that we want 100 sample size so like that we have to take this 100 uh, lots from that uh, uh, suffering uh, um, piece of papers so then uh, these 100 uh, people who, who, who we given the number uh, that people we have to select as a uh, sample so uh, we have to select as a sample that is called uh, mm, Oh, one uh, uh, method uh, what we can say which is called a lottery method so uh, that is one thing and the second the method is in the simple random method is a random number method okay random number method so in this particular method okay in this random number method uh, this method is adapted with the aid of random number tables okay random number tables we have to uh, we are going to adapt to uh, what is called this uh, method. These are table of numbers in which digits selected by a mechanical process of uh, randomization are tabulated. Okay, these are the table of numbers in which digits selected by a mechanical process of randomization tabulated. They are tabled as a two digital, three digital, four digital, or five digitals numbers like etc. After assigning the serial numbers, after assigning the serial numbers to each sample unit, okay, uh, sample unit, open any uh, phase of the random table, okay, random table. So this is one thing. Okay, but suppose there are. Uh, 500 total population was there okay out of that uh, we have to select 100 people so here uh, we may take um, this total population divided into five units okay five units so uh, the first unit second unit and third unit and four five fifth unit so uh, we have to give uh, the number for the first unit who are there in the first unit we have to select like that first the units should be selected okay then uh, this numbers should be given the digital numbers should be given for one unit second unit third like for, for like that okay then uh, we have to um, uh, shuffle and uh, we will take uh, one uh, large from the from the uh, from there so there uh, we, we will get uh, that unit will be as a uh, sample so after assigning a serial number to each sampling unit open any phase of the random number table okay this then a blind fold selection of a number is made okay starting from that number we can proceed along a row okay along a row we can uh, proceed and column or diagonally uh, the successive numbers uh, there occur will give a random selection of the uh, items okay either we go for the row method or column method or we can take the diagonally also so the the, the successive numbers uh, we can take as a uh, what is called a uh, random size or uh, what is called a sample size in this uh, selection method okay this method can be used to select a random sample even when the population is very large so the lottery method uh, is not possible when the so population size is very large but here in this case we can use this method even though the large number size of the population was there the random method we can use okay this method is uh, how we can uh, uh, use so uh, even though there is a large number of the okay population was there in this uh, uh, research uh, methods are in the selection okay that is uh, what you can say and um, so what are the uh, some important uh, uh, what is called uh, uh, merits are there through this sampling method of course each and every method we have some merits of course demerits also 
okay in this particular case uh, we will try to understand what are the different type of the merits were there through this uh, uh, what is called sampling method that is a simple random uh, sampling method so uh, in this particular method uh, the one of the most important uh, uh the uh, uh, the advantage is uh, uh, it save money and also going to save the time so uh, it will not be expensive and uh, so it is go, uh, it, uh, it will not take more time so it is less expensive uh, are going to cons uh, going to be reduce the uh, time constant so in the, this is one of the advantages in this particular method and uh, uh, it eliminates the possibility of the biased errors. Okay, so this uh, uh, is going to be eliminate the what is called biased errors. There should not be any bias. So if you go for the lottery method, there should not be any bias. Uh, 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 the researcher will select a sample with neutrality, without bias. So because all the uh, population are having the equal chances or equal opportunity for the sample uh, selection uh, what we can say so as the random sample becomes extensive the errors neutralize among themselves and it becomes more uh, representative of the what is called uh, aggregates okay as uh, this random sample become of uh, already I told you it will be very more extensive more expensive and uh, uh, when we are taking more number of sample sizes automatically we can neutralize the errors also and that means we can reduce the errors also uh, so that is the thing so and it becomes more representative also okay when the uh, sample size is increasing uh, the, uh, it is more representative from the total from the uh, aggregates also uh, it is one uh, important uh, benefit from this sample random sample uh, method what we can say okay as in the case of the deliberate selection <coughs> there is no need for a detailed plan for the selection of the samples okay just simply what we are doing we are giving the numbers and uh, we are going for the shuffling and we are going for the lot lots or lottery Okay, that is our uh, in this method. So that's why it is not uh, uh, the, the selection process is not very difficult. Okay, it is a very simple procedure. Okay, so uh, it should not be any plan. Okay, nothing is important. Nothing is worried. So it is very simply uh, we can go for the what is called uh, selection of the uh, what is called samples. And there is a possibility of testing the accuracy of a sample by examining another sample from the same universe okay so when we are going for the random sampling method uh, there is a possibility uh, of the testing possibility of the testing uh, of this uh, of, of our assumption also and there should be the accuracy of a sample uh, by examining another sample from the uh, same uh, universe okay that uh, uh, we, we, we can see okay in this particular uh, okay cases uh, mainly and uh, along with this uh, merits we have some disadvantages also from this method okay of course we have some advantages or uh, merits and along with advantages or merits we have some disadvantages also from this method and we have some limitations also and we have uh, what is called some uh, problems also uh, from uh, this method uh, if we observe so like uh, uh, when we are using this random uh, simple sampling method uh, it cannot be applied where some units of the universe are so important that their inclusion in the sample is essential okay when you are going for the lottery method so for example some important in the out of this 500 population uh, uh, suppose let's say example of 10 people are very important at any cost we have to take the information from the 10 people because they are the more uh, important people the, uh, giving the information for the research but if uh, if we are using this lottery method automatically we are also giving the number to that important people 
so if that important people may not be selected through this lottery method so that important people that important units may not be included in our uh, what is called uh, research okay that uh, uh, is one of the uh, what is called most important uh, uh, problem in this particular cases if the sample is not a large it may not be truly representative of the whole universe okay so for um, the sample method when the large is it is okay but uh, uh, if the uh, the number is population size is very small uh, it is not representative of all okay just we are going to take the information from the limited people only so it will not always be possible or practical to identify every population member so that's of course a sample is nothing but all the units are not consideration okay the same problem we can see in this method also <coughs> okay so always not not always be possible or practical to identify every population of the members all members may not be identified in this method if a sample from a uh, churn of milk is required it is obviously impossible to distinguish every molecule okay, it is not at all possible to take the uh, molecule and uh, uh, everything okay then this method however that is the random simple sampling method however is more uh, is expensive and time of course consuming okay, when compared with other methods it is uh, uh, of course it is uh, uh less uh, time consuming and uh, less expensive when compared with the census method but within the sample method when compared to other strata method or stratified method or uh, quota method and all so it is more expensive and also uh, more time uh, consuming in this particular uh, method and now so that's why uh, these are the some important uh, uh, what is called demerits are there uh from this uh, particular uh, uh, method that is a simple random method so that's why now uh, we will try to understand uh, the remaining uh, methods sampling methods okay now we are going to explain the methods of sampling in which the samples are selected partly according to some loss of chance and partly partly according to a fixed sampling rule with no arrangement of the uh, what is called probabilities they are termed as mixed samples okay they are called mixed samples and the techniques of the selecting such samples is called mixed sampling okay so uh, the simple sampling is one method and uh, the remaining are called uh, mixed sampling methods okay the mixed uh, uh, what is called sampling methods so now we will try to understand what are the mixed sampling methods among them you know, one of the thing is a stratified random sampling okay stratified random sampling so here in this stratified random sampling when the population is heterogeneous particularly heterogeneous with respect to some characteristic okay so heterogeneous nothing but the uh, the units are having separate characters okay they will have separate features so but can be divided into a number of homogeneous okay so here um heterogeneous and dividing into homogeneous uh, so here for example 500 population was there but among them uh, around 200 people are the years between 25 to 35 years so all these people uh, can group as a homogeneous group okay and uh, out of these 500 people uh, 200 are women were there so these women may have some separate category and out of these 500 maybe 50 people from the farmers so these 50 people may have the, some homogeneous characters but here the uh, the farmers are different from the uh, students the students are different from the women so women are different from the employees employees are different from the farmers they are like that we have heterogeneous groups but these heterogeneous groups are dividing to different groups uh, with the homogeneous okay like so uh, homogeneous subgroups so it is known as a strata that is stratifying these different characteristics people are 
uh, we are going to select uh, out of this uh, total population so we are going to select the people as a one group which are having the common features okay that will be one group and another will be one group like that we are going to be stratifying we are going to dividing this uh, population into sub different groups uh, what we can say so this method can be applied so here uh, we divide the population into different strata and from each uh, uh, stratum selected the items uh, proportionally using lottery method so um, I, I told you there are 200 students are there okay 200 women are there 50 farmers are there and 50 employees were there okay like that we divided uh, how many groups employees is one group student is one group uh, women is one group uh, what is called farmers is one group okay like that five groups are there uh, uh, these 500 people are constituting uh, these five groups and based on their ratio we are going to select okay so uh, for example we have to select 100 people out of 100 uh, 500 okay so that means 10 percent from the total population so like that uh, we have to take the 10 percent from each and every group 10 percent is from women nothing but how many uh, two, 200 women 10 percent nothing but 20 okay 200 students 10 percent nothing but 20 20 20 40 and uh, um, uh, what is called uh, uh, the remaining uh, uh, people so for uh, uh, the 10 uh, percent of farmers 50 uh, 10 percent out of 50 is 5 so uh, 45 and 10% uh, employees are there 5 per, uh, 10 percent of uh, that 50 is 5 okay that is 5 uh, 5 percent of employees means 5 total 50 okay 10 percentage of the total population how much not 100 uh, sorry of uh, 50 because 500 is total population so the 10 percent is nothing but 50 so that's why uh, that 50 people are going to be taking as a base on the proportionate from each and every a group which is known as the uh, strata. So that is also using the lottery method only. So we know that what is the lottery method again? Lottery nothing but so we are giving number to each and every unit and uh, selecting uh, uh, randomly without a uh, bias. Okay, this will be constitute a stratified random sample. For example, suppose we want to study a the academic level of 2000 students in the college. Okay, let us uh, assume that the this consists of 600 uh, what is called first degree college uh, first degree course uh, 500 second degree course and 400 third degree course and 300 first pg students and 200 second pg students maybe around 100 mphil students if it is the higher education institutions like university level and around 50 are the phd students like that the different students are there Okay, in this situation, we can select a stratified random sample of 200 students. Out of the total students, we are going to select um, uh, around 200 students. So, we are going to divide it into five categories. First degree, second degree, third degree, five, first piece and second piece like. Okay, if MPhil PhD students are also there, we are going to divide it seven strata. Or seven stages, stages. But here, since we have five stages, we are going to divide it like this. Okay, five stages. So, divided the whole students into five strata as first degree second degree third degree and first pg and second pg now from each stratum select the students proportionately using any of the random sampling method okay so sampling uh, by using lottery method or whatever it may be so that means we have to select 60 um first degree uh, 50 students from the second degree and 40 um uh, what is called uh, third degree and 30, first, uh, 30 students from the first year PC and uh, so 20 students from the second uh, PC students respectively from each stratum based on their proportionate because there are 200 students are there. Out of the two, 2000, we have to select 200. 200 is nothing but uh, the 10%. 200 out of 2000 nothing but 200. Okay, in the first degree, there are 600 students. So what is the 10 percentage of 600? What is called? Uh, 60. So that's why we have to select 60. And uh, what is the 10 percentage of 500? It is called uh, um, uh, what is called 10, 50. So like uh, 400, 10 percent out of 440. 
and uh, 10 percent is out of uh, 300 is 30 and 10 percent out of 200 is uh, 20 so the total uh, the 60 50 110 uh, 40 150 first piece is uh, 180 and uh, second piece is 220 that is 200 total 200 uh, sample selection was selected from out of 200 2000 students which is consisting of 10 percent like that from each and every stratum we are going to take the based on the their proportionation okay that is what we are going to see here okay this will uh, con uh, constitute a stratified random sample of 200 uh, students so that is the uh, thing uh, what uh, we can uh, see okay so like uh, of course there are uh, 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 there are some merits and demerits also from this method so so what are what are the merits okay the sample becomes more representative since each stratum is adequately represented in the sample okay since the strata are homogeneous the precision will be very more okay the stratification many times leads to administrative convenience also okay administrative convenience it will be uh, usable so uh, uh, since we are going to grouping the homogeneous characteristics we will get uh, uh, what is called uh, important information and accurate information from the each and every uh, group so that is and we have some some demerits also from this uh, group like uh, if there is any wrong in the formation of the different strata okay when while formating these different groups uh, we, we will get any difficulties or any uh, uh, problems the results will be quite unreliable okay? the results will not be correct we will get the wrong result what i am saying okay we may not get the uh, perfect result from this particular aspect and difficulties are also faced while deciding the basis and the numbers of the stratification okay this is also one problem we will get from this method and the procedure is to uh, uh, tedious and time uh, consuming so our uh, time consuming more the time consuming is one of the now uh, what is called more important that is uh, uh, what we can say in the stratification sampling method and the one more method is called uh, uh, systematic sampling method okay in the systematic sampling method so we can arrange the sampling units uh, is a definite order okay in the definite order we are going to be uh, arrange the order say it may be alphabetical or the chronological or the geographical etc this method can be employed okay so uh, in the order we are going to see so maybe alphabetical or chronological whatever it may be based on the height whatever it may be once the sampling units are arranged in a definite order okay once the sampling units are arranged in a definite order give them serial number as one two three etc like that okay divide them into uh, a number of groups after giving the number uh, we have to divide the different groups which is equal to the required sample size so how much sample size is required so like that we have to divide the different groups from the first group choose an item at random using lottery method so from each and every group again we have to uh, take uh, we have to select them uh, through lottery method if we select the fourth item choose the fourth item of every group systematically at equally uh, spaced intervals okay for the first group we selected for the fourth one and the next also we have to go for the fourth one and that is the nothing but eighth one or next to twelfth one okay next to sixteenth one next to twentieth uh, or twenty fourth like that we have to go okay this will constitute a systematic sample so all these things will called as a uh, what is called a uh, systematic uh, sample okay in this particular method in the systematic sample method example if you want to select a systematic sample of 100 students from a group of 1000 that is 10 percent of course 
first to arrange the students alphabetically or chronologically so based on their name alphabet or chronologically maybe height or marks their intelligence whatever it may be method you can follow differently so the order of the arrangement should not be uh, related to the variable under study okay so now give the serial numbers as 1 2 3 and up to how many because a total of 1000 are there that's why the number should give up to 1000 and divide them into 100 groups of a size number a size number into 10 okay each group uh, there should be 10 groups and each group should have the 10 uh, 100 uh, members in that particular groups from the first group choose the choose a student at a random okay that is maybe letter method or whatever it may be so we have to uh, uh, use uh, okay that uh, method and uh, uh, what is called a first group the choose the uh, seventh student um, uh, at a random if we choose the seventh student from the first group choose the seventh student of every group systematically at the equal spaced intervals okay so there are 10 groups if we select the seventh student from the first group and we have also took the seventh student in the second group third group like that too, only okay that means uh, that the means we will choose seventh 17th 27th or 997th like that etc and only seven numbers should be taken so in the first to 10 7 and the second uh, uh, group 17 automatically because uh, uh, first group we given 10 numbers in the second group the seventh number is nothing but 17th member in the third group seventh number is nothing but 27th number in the fourth group uh, seventh number is nothing but uh, 30 uh, 47th number like that okay in the 100 uh, in the 10th group uh, the seventh number is called 997 like that the students respectively into the sample size we have to select okay this will be constitute the systematic sample of 100 students like that only we have to go okay this method is also called uh, quasi random sampling method okay this systematic method is also called uh, what is called uh, sampling uh, 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 random uh, uh, method Okay, what uh, we, uh, we can say okay so that uh, that, uh, that can uh, we can see and the fourth method is a uh, cluster sampling method okay so uh, we have uh, uh, total four methods in uh, in this uh, simple random method so the first one is simple random method and the second one is uh, stratified random method the third one is a systematic random method and the last one is uh, and the fourth one is a cluster sampling method okay in the <coughs> <coughs> in the cluster sampling method uh, uh, it, it is the selection of the sample units in two stages okay in the cluster we are going to use the two stages in the first stage certain groups or clusters called primary sampling units are selected from the population okay so uh, from the uh, 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 selected from the population these units says might be companies selected from an industry okay from the uh, industry this unit says might be uh, companies selected from an industry in the second stage individual items called elementary sampling units are drawn from each of these clusters okay in the second stage individual items called elementary sampling units are drawn from each of these uh, clusters okay these units might be employees either a sample or all the employees uh, in the uh, company uh, what we can see okay this is second step in the sampling process is called sub planning okay sub uh, sampling and uh, when each cluster is contained in a compact geographic area cluster sampling is also called area sampling it is related to geographical that's why it is called uh, what is called uh, area sampling also uh, can be see in this particular uh, method okay we have some advantages from this uh, 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 that is 
okay what are the advantages of total sampling method okay the sample method is a comparatively more economical when compared to the survey method is more economical the sample method ensures completeness and a high degree of accuracy due to the small area of the population and it is a possible to obtain more detailed information in a sample survey than the complete enumeration okay so uh, for the complete enumeration means we are going for all but through sample also we are going to take uh, more detailed information from the sample also because we are dividing into a homogeneous groups or uh, like that so that's why this definitely the the information will get a very accuracy the sample survey is much more scientific than the census because in it the extent of the reliability of the result can be known where as this is not always possible in the census so there is maybe problem but it is more scientific particularly uh, about this uh, particular uh, okay system and uh, there are also some limitations through the sampling method so in order to maintain the accurate results it is uh, uh, indispensable that a sample survey has been properly planned and executed otherwise we will get incorrect answer uh, the result are going to be misleading okay so uh, our analysis are going to be Uh, misleading so which is going to obtaining from the our uh, result so that is one important problem in the sampling method and uh, uh, most sampling requires the service of expo experts uh, and if there is a uh, paucity of such people sampling may give unsatisfactory results owing to the use of faulty methods of the selection inappropriate sampling design or in efficient methods of the what is called uh, estimation where one is interested in the minutes details in the characteristics of individual uh, constituent of a universe sampling is ruled out okay sampling uh, uh, may not be used in the many cases there are various sources of the errors in the sampling survey errors also will be occur because we are not taking information from all every attempt must be made to minimize the chances of such errors so whatever the possibility chances are there that we have to use to minimize this uh, errors otherwise uh, uh, the right uh, inferences cannot be entitled okay Co correct a result will not be entitled so the wrong inferences may be occurred so if the sample is not truly representative uh, Uh, and wrong type of sampling method is selected so wrong type of the method if we selected then the sample will fail to give the true characteristics of the population this is one uh, problem uh, in this uh, sample method okay, what uh, uh, we can say okay this is about the uh, what is called random uh, sampling method which is the most important in the next class we will try to understand uh, a uh, non random sampling method thank you thank you